See my days are cold without you But I'm hurting while I'm with you And though my heart can't take no more I can't keep running back to you See my days are cold without you But I'm hurting while I'm with you And though my heart can't take no more I won't keep running back to you Taking my love from me See my days are cold without you But I'm hurting while I'm with you And all my heart can't take no more I can't keep running back to you See my days are cold without you But I'm hurting while I'm with you And all my heart can't take no more I won't keep running back to you The lighting sucks because it's 6.42 in the morning. I decided I'm gonna be a productive little bee today. Not bee, like, uh, productive little bee. Like a bee, that's what I'm saying. But anyway, yeah. So, Malaya's still asleep. She had woke up. Oh, what's on the loop? She had woke up and I changed her. Like, I let her pee and stuff. And I'll put her back to sleep. So I told my mom I should be back by 8 because it's probably going to take me like 20 minutes to get to Starbucks um, and then come back. I just want to edit, do some homework. That's basically it. Just like get myself together. I barely got any sleep. That's why I got these on my eyes. Because y'all, I was putting two, to two, two and two together about a situation. I'm like, that don't make no sense. That makes no sense. Like, it's like I woke up. Like, I, I fell asleep, but my spirit woke up. And I'm like, that don't make no sense. So I was up putting two and two together and I was not getting four I was getting like 12 and yeah anyway anywho um uh, as y'all seen yesterday I did my nails they came out really cute can't really see them I'll probably show y'all when to get to Starbucks but my voice sound crazy I look a little crazy because the lighting sucks but yeah we're gonna go to Starbucks do what we gotta do I'm trying to hurry up let me just do this intro because she wakes up really quick it's like she can sense when I'm not there or something but yeah, do that. Be productive today. There's a couple things I need to do today. But I guess I'll just talk to you guys about that later on once I get to Starbucks or something. So yeah, let's go catch a vibe, get some work done, and be productive for today because we're in our bag all 2024. That's just that, period. Jesus, it's freezing. I'm freezing my butt off. But the season. I was in Starbucks for a little bit. I did a little bit of my editing. I don't know, my computer kept freaking freezing. I don't know if my computer was cold as well. But I'm gonna turn my heat on so y'all might hear the heat. But I'm cold. It would, how cold is it? It's 40 degrees. Malaya is still asleep. So I'm trying to get home before she wakes up so that before she wakes up so i can get her situated for breakfast i can eat breakfast and then she can take her morning nap um if she's still asleep when i get home and everything is basically made like the breakfast and everything that i'm just going to wake her up and she's gonna start her day early since she likes to wake me up i'm gonna wake her up see how she likes it but like 
no but for real um that's what i'm going to be doing when i get home my teeth hurt so freaking bad well not like super bad but they're sensitive because i've been whitening my teeth with these strips i'll show you guys when i get home i got the um whitening strips from kroger like yesterday or the day before yesterday or something but i mean i like them i've seen a difference already but my teeth are definitely sensitive a lot more sensitive beauty is pain baby beauty is freaking pain and my hair is looking so good okay it looks good it looks very healthy looks healthy even though i didn't get no sleep the skin is skinny and that's just on that why is it blurry let's just get home let's just get home so i can start the day because i want to take her to the park but if it's too cold i'm not taking her nowhere because she's already getting over this cold i'm not trying to get her sick again but we might yeah it's not gonna get warmer it's gonna be cold all day it's 4 44 and i woke up around like 2 33 we were originally gonna go see her cousin the first cousin didn't respond um her cousin her first cousins which is i, I don't know her dad's sister's kids she we was gonna go over there but then she changed it to saturday i believe i'm free on saturday i'm not really sure but i'm like dang i gotta figure out where the heck i'm gonna take you so i'm gonna take you to the park it's not that cold so we should be okay and i'm gonna take her to get some freaking ice cream i'm trying my best as a parent i'm literally trying every day it's a it's a challenge to be a mom it's a challenge to be a parent because she was saying she need help to get in her car seat so i'm literally trying to help you get in your car seat right malaya i'm trying to help her get in her car seat and she's like help help so when i help you she's whining and she's straightening her body so she can't put her in the car seat so i'm like you know i'm not going i'm not going we go back in the house i pull her ball up and why am i going so i'm like let me try it again let me try it again because I really want to take you to the park so you can get your energy out and, you know, play and all that stuff. So she climbs in her car seat on her own. Okay. You want to be independent? I get it. You get that from your mother. You get that from me. But it's the attitude for me. Okay. So her cousin. <laughs> okay. Her cousin just responded. We're going to hurry up. Okay. We're going to go. We're going to go um, a play date with her cousins. So let's just hurry up before she starts having a little ticket for him because this is just ridiculous. Every day is a tantrum. These, I'm not gonna say terrible twos. I think I call them, what do I call them? Adventurous twos, learning twos, you know, trial and error twos. And every time she throws a tantrum, I add a year to how long I wanna wait to have another kid. Hopefully I stick to it. But I will see you guys probably when I leave there. I don't know if I'm gonna record there or not but we're gonna see you wanna say hi? hi and she looks so cute she got her ring on don't suck on your ring get your ring out your mouth it's so cute oh i make sure my daughter is huh it is a flower it's a rose i make sure she looks good on a budget that that was from Claire's from the last vlog. If you guys did not see it, go watch it. I got her some jewelry from Claire's and it is it's so cute. like folding and doing like little stuff like that I put stuff in the washer it doesn't look like I started anything because folding takes so freaking long and then <sighs> Malaya needs like undivided attention 24 7 so she's occupied right now but I'm about to change my bedding um, I ordered 
this one from Amazon. It was like $30. It's a white bed. Hold on, let me check on her. I don't know what she's doing. Anyway, this is white bedding. It's from Bed Shore Essentials, as y'all can see. Yeah, Bed Shore Essentials. So I've never had their bedding. I always buy my bedding like in person. So yeah, we're gonna see what it's like. I think it's like a duvet or something. This don't look white, it looks more beige. Did it come with sheets? I hope so, cause I ain't got no white sheets. Did I only buy the freaking comforter? That is stupid. That is so dumb. The Best Shore Queen Size Comforter Set Beige. Oh, maybe I got beige. Okay, I thought it was white. It looks white. Pre-washed, all three seasons, three pieces, one. Lightweight covered in two pillowcases. So I don't have a sheet. But I got two pillowcases. Okay. Where's the pillowcases in? Like where the freak is the pillowcases? Stripper booty in the rack like wow. Brain like Berkeley, met her at Coachella. I went to see Jigga. She went to see C trip. Perfect. I took the seat on the ice cold lawn. She handed me an ice blue bone, whatever. She said she wanna be a dentist really bad. She's in school paying for tuition, doing porn in the back. Okay, so I only got the comforter and the two pillowcases. So I'm just gonna have to go and buy some new actual like sheets and stuff. I could have sworn it said sheets, the comforter, and that, but I guess the heck not. But it's whatever. I'm just gonna. It's just me sleeping in the bed, and this is actually like really soft for it to be only like forty dollars. It seems so. Of course, you want to get on it now when it's clean. You lucky you already got a bath. I'm gonna go feed her dinner and then like finish tidying up everything. I feel like I'm gonna be washing all night or all yeah for the rest of the night because it's already six nineteen. So I'm gonna be washing for a while. I gotta wash those so I can fold those up. I got a blanket downstairs I gotta wash. I got her clothes I gotta wash, her blankets. So I think she has a sheet already in her room. So that she can go, go to bed. You're gonna fall off the bed. So she can go to bed like as soon as possible because she's just been whining this entire, for a while. She's just been whining all like for the past week or two. And I'm kind of like, by the time her bedtime come, I'm over it. I need you to go to bed. I need you. Did she just bite me? We don't bite over here. We don't do that. Last time I shaked your human being and not an animal. I've been trying to tell her dad, like, stop. When he was here, he was, like, biting her or he bit her or he wanted to bite her. Like, just please stop. Just stop. But, yeah, I'm about to feed her, get her situated for bed. She already got her bath. I need to get situated. I'm, like, sweaty and oily and I'm just, I need to relax, unwind. So, I'm going to talk to y'all either tomorrow or later on tonight. But, ugh. But yeah, this is what it looked like. It's nice and soft. I like it. I just thought it came with sheets. That's it. I'm currently laying on the floor because and the lighting sucks, but I don't freaking care. So yesterday when I like stopped talking to y'all and I said we're about to go eat. My mom had picked up Chinese food because that's why I was like, okay, I don't really know. I don't really I don't really know what I want to eat, so you can get um we can get some Chinese food, some sweet sour chicken for me and Leia. And me and Leia split it. You want to hold it? Okay. Can I, can you turn the camera this way, too? Okay. It's a day. I have to see you taste. Can I just talk to them for a second? I'm going to let her have her moment in my room on the floor and cry because... Yeah, you do that on your own time. But basically, we had got Chinese food. And, you know, the chicken looked off. Okay, it didn't look like chicken. But I was hungry. I had like, I didn't even eat that much. I probably had like four pieces of chicken. Gave Malaya four pieces of chicken. And, well, not four pieces. I tore one piece of chicken up for her and gave her some rice. So as soon as I finished eating, like I started feeling so off, like something was wrong. My back started aching really bad and my stomach was hurting. And I was like super freaking bloated. So I'm confused. I'm like, okay, what what is going on? So it was around 12 o'clock. Malaya went to sleep at her usual bedtime. 
I lay down as well because I don't feel well. I'm not feeling well now. I need to lay down. She woke up to get changed or to, and to potty. So I'm in her room and I'm sitting right there. Her potty was like right here. If y'all can see, it looks like it's wet. I'm sitting right there. She's on my phone because I'm talking to my mom about how I'm feeling. And just randomly, she just threw up. She's throwing up. It's so animated. It just came out her mouth. Now, my stomach is already turning because I feel nauseous. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm like, dang, am I coming out with something? That sucks because she just had a cold. So I'm thinking I'm coming out with something, but it, it was too random. So I'm like, I think I have food poisoning. So she just keeps throwing up. I'm like, okay. I put the phone down. She threw up on my phone. And I take her to the bathroom so she could throw up on the floor because it was just throw up all on the carpet. And I couldn't even really move because my body was aching so freaking bad. So my mom helped clean it up. And then I laid her. No, she didn't lay back down right away. So she's walking around as she's cleaning up the throw up. Malaya, what are you doing? While wow, she's cleaning up the throw up and she comes in the room as I'm laying on the bed, my bed. And she Ooh. threw up again. So she's throwing up again. Ooh. And I'm trying to figure Ooh. out what is going on. So Ooh. she threw up like a good seven times. I took her to the hospital. And um, before I left, they were telling me to just continue to give her fluids. And I'm like, okay. Look, I feel like crap myself. Came home. We are up to like five in the morning because she would not go to sleep. She had threw up again. I have so many blank. I went from... Having wash only clothes to so many blankets have to be washed. Instead of me laying on my bed with her, I was trying to lay on the floor. That's why we were just on the floor because I'm like, you're not about to throw up on my bed. I just got a new comforter. So we're laying on the floor. She didn't really want to lay down with me. And then she was hungry because she threw up everything that she ate. So I put her banana puree and her little cereal and her milk like we usually do. And then she was able to go to sleep. And I was praying to God. I'm like, please do not have her throw up again because I am exhausted. I'm tired. I can't even function right now. My body hurts so bad. I took a Motrin. My mom made me some tea. She was very helpful. The fact that she had to, had to work like in the morning, she had to be at work at six. I mean, she had to get up at like four or five. She was up to probably like 2.33. And she was helping. It's very appreciative of her because I could not move. My body was hurting so freaking bad. But yeah, I'm just going to um, close out the video here because I'm still trying to recuperate my body. Because my body hurts still. My body's aching. I'm taking another Motrin. I need to figure out what to take and make her to eat because I don't know how her stomach is feeling. She, I don't want her business out there like that. But you know, it's clearing out her system in a different form. Which I would take that over throwing up okay i'll take it because i can't do the vomit she was literally throwing up every time she would lay down lay down either water her milk it, like count your freaking days golden chopsticks count your freaking days but i don't know what's going on because i was talking to my friend joy and she had subway and she has the same thing i'm going to she um her mom thinks she has food poisoning because the same way she's feeling i'm feeling what are y'all doing to the food and then i talked to her dad somebody out there have food poisoning so what are you doing to the food what are you doing to the food for us to be having food poisoning like that so yeah like i said i'm about to close this video put all these blankets in the washer get her situated for bed make her some soup or something probably some noodles i don't even know what the heck i'm gonna eat i'm probably gonna eat some fruit or nothing at all because i don't really have an appetite um yeah and then i threw up I felt like I was gonna throw up when I was at the hospital and I had like the pail, but I'm just like, I really don't wanna throw up here. I don't wanna throw up here. On the way back from the hospital, she started throwing up. Like she was choking in her car seat, had to pull over on the street. And all I can imagine is Jeepers freaking creepers. Cause it was not that much light on the street that you come down. Get out the car, take her out the car seat. Now I'm on the side of the street and this car is coming by. And I'm like, all I need them to think is I'm kidnapping this kid. Like, that's all I need. I don't, what's wrong? The cat don't want to be bothered, honey. She don't want to be bothered. And I'm trying to teach her the correct way to pick up Sophie because she chokes the cat. And Sophie just lets her because she's in heat. But that's not the way to do it because she is going to kill my freaking cat. So I try to teach her how to pick her up by her, you know, her stomach. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I don't, at this point, don't want to eat out again. I'm not eating Chinese food again, period. Because I just don't know what, what, 
I don't know. My opinion, it don't always, it don't look like chicken. It, it that's just me. Cause looking at it, I wasn't expecting it as I was eating it. Like, why is it so? Why is this part round and this part like long? <sighs> night night. Am I sleeping in your room? Are we switching tonight? Okay, night. Hi, Tita. You be back. You look so pretty, even though you're under the weather. Ooh, blurry. Okay. But anywho, yeah, I'm gonna close out this video. Hope y'all enjoyed the vlog as much as I was able to film because I'm, I, I can't, I can't keep filming right now, and I don't want this video to like prolong or what's it called, drag out. So I said so in like so many times. Forgive me. I will talk to y'all in the next video. Pray for you, girl, because I'm, I'm going through it. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.